Hi everyone, my name's Paul and today I'm going to talk about easy roads and talk about how it works with trains, or at least a basic introduction into it. Now, I'm not a representative of easy roads, this is just going to be me battling away to see the different kind of options that we can use with easy roads. So hopefully we'll get something out of it. Let's have a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've got a little terrain here and just with a few little kind of bumpy areas on it and mostly flat. And I've added a easy roads network onto the screen. So the first thing we need to do is add a road. So let's have a look at our, what we got here. So a bit of flat and a bit of hill. Okay, let's go to our road. Uh, Add a new road, so we shift click, shift click, there's our road, and we'll shift click up the hill. Okay. So, one thing to understand here is Easy Roads works in two kind of modes. So if we look at the terrain option here, we can see that it, it knows about the terrain. But it's got this big button here called Build Terrain and Finalize. So I'm not going to click that just yet, but just bear in mind that there's two kind of modes. There's a, there's a sort of editable mode, which is what we're in now, and we're in a kind of post-edit mode where it's done a lot of work to work out how it's going to interact with trains. So let's just go back to our, our little road again. Um, okay, make sure the road network is selected. So if you look at what the visualizer is trying to show us here is, is there's a few things going on. So you can see visually that the road is vanished underneath the terrain there. Uh, and that's obviously not what we want ultimately, but in edit mode, that's what we get. So it's again, it's a you need to understand the difference between edit mode and the final road. So you can see here, that it's gone kind of red saying, Ooh, we're underneath the train. That looks bad. But here where the road is between the flat and the terrain. And hopefully you can see that it's actually in the air. So you probably get a better idea there. But as you can see, this this deforming here is it's, it's going to try and tell the terrain to do this piece of work here. So you can see how it's cutting into the terrain and also bringing the terrain up to the road. And that might be what you want. And this is probably the sort of default way it works. And you can see here on this red stuff that it's going to try and cut into the terrain. Um, and as I say, it might be what you want. It might not be. It really depends on your context of why you're using easy roads. So if you're just using it to quickly put a road in there and you just want to get on with doing whatever it is you're doing with your game or your visualization, then this is a really easy way of, of doing it. And let's let's press break now and see what we see if it actually does what we want it to do. So selected roads only, we don't want that. Update the height map, so it's actually going to change the terrain. Um, there's a few other things just to notice that if you've spent a lot of time putting trees and things into your terrain, then obviously you don't want a tree in the middle of your road or a tree too close to your road. So what this will do is it will demolish its way through all that kind of uh, over those objects to make a more realistic road and includes things like uh, side vegetation so you can configure your roads to have you know, bits of bushes and weeds and things like that uh, to make it more realistic. Anyway, that's that's more advanced stuff. So let's press build terrain then. Right. So it's done its building. I believe it's finished. So what have we got here? So you can see that the terrain, you can see we've got this slope now. That slope wasn't there before. So it's it's brought the terrain up to the road to enable this flat road. So the road I created is still the same road I created now it's brought the terrain up. Now where it was red and still is red, it's still showing us that it hasn't really done a great job of cutting in there. So let's go back to edit mode. Uh, so back to the road network. 
Okay. Lost my way back to edit mode. Whereas in this previous mode, our train was our road was dictating what the train should look like. Anyway, we'll come back to that for a second. Uh, let's just skip over that for now. I want to see if there's any way I can make that cut work. So I can't see a way of making that deform. So that means the only thing I'm left with here really is just raising this slightly. Which isn't really what I want to do. Let's go back to the bake then. So I failed to do the cutting, which is annoying. Let's see what we get on with the bake. So the looks like the bake's done. So now what we've got is a road that is looking like it's on the terrain. So we can come along this road and you can see here where we've got our built up terrain and there we are there's our sort of decent enough road you can see the shadows here where we've effectively created a kind of faux ground you can see here that the where it was flat the terrain is raised up to the road and means that the road is now kind of king on, on this object so that's fine okay so let's go back to edit mode and let's see how far I can go back. Okay. So we're back to where we were, where the road is underneath and our terrain is not coming up to the road. Okay. So let's go for the other option then. So go back to our uh, road objects. Connected objects, road network, back to our terrain, select roads only, update height map. Okay, so that's just doing all of the things we said before, so that's fine. So let's go back to our uh, road objects. Now this time I want to go back to um, the road itself. And we are going to do the follow. So follow contours this time. So now what we got is before where we had that kind of bridge section that it was making, it was kind of moving the terrain up. You now see that the road is now deforming to the terrain. And as I said before, this is actually the mode I prefer because as I said before, that my terrains are very accurate to the real world. So where there's bumps and there's, you know, uh, cambers, uh, on the floor, on the actual terrain, then my road cumbers and has bumps in it, and that's the way I want it. So in this case, the road now, rather than being a kind of flat, featureless surface and the, and the ground has moved up, you can see the road is much more realistic. It's, it's following the contours, it's moving up. You can see the kind of bends and the dips in the road, and it looks, to me, it's a much more satisfying result. And we can come back to the connection again. We should be still in edit mode, so we can still build this out. And now what we have is a road that follows the surface and gives you a nice smooth road. It's glitching out here. Okay, so it's not it's not done a brilliant actually I'm not sure if that's just the rendering. Sometimes you get this with the, in the scene mode, you get this kind of these weird artifacts with the camera. Uh, I can see if we can, uh, how's best to do this? I'm trying to think, there is a, some sort of play mode on easy roads. I can never recall uh, quite how you do that. There's something in here that allows you to to do some additional work, but anyway, I'll can fly over. Yeah, so it is, we are still in scene mode, however, but it is 
look like it's a little bit glitching out. Um, yeah, so that's not ideal. Let's get just position the camera. I just want to double check that. Uh, align with you. Okay, and let's run this. Yeah, I mean, it's, nah, that's so awful. We don't want that. So what can we do about that? Uh, now my lighting's gone. So I need some way. I'm still looking for some way. I've come across this thing called terrain deformation in here. So I can turn that on. So we're following the terrain and I've got the terrain deformation. So then when we go back to our build, Okay, so that's looking a lot nicer. So now we've cut. We've kind of got a bit of um, a compromise. So the road is following the terrain, um, but where it's struggling to do that, struggling to maintain that, it's actually chipped away at the terrain. So it's a sort of, yeah, it's probably quite a nice compromise. Um, is it perfect? Uh, doesn't look too bad. So it looks like we've got a bit of cutting in the terrain here. So coming back to my whole idea, idea of realism, it's it's taken a little bit of a liberty here, I think, to to create a kind of hybrid of realistic road to, um, you know, not, not going too mad and building the terrain up to the road. Uh, it's got a bit of a glitch there in this segment. So, so far in my quest to get rid of this stuff, I've not really found a perfect solution. So we've still got these little diamond shapes here. If the only thing I can think to do is if we fractionally raise a road, uh, so six, six, seven, seven, five, eight, still there, eight, five, okay. Good enough for government work. So what does that look like? Is that Really naff. Uh, looks all right. I think we kind of get away with it. Yeah. So really the, the kind of takeaway of this. So I would say that really the way I work with <laughs> easy roads is it is a, a a kind of difficult battle at times, and I'm not even sure that I've I've given you today the right information. Um, you know, so take what I say with a pinch of salt. But um, I think essentially what you have is is you have to kind of figure out what you want out of the road system. If you want it to be super accurate and you're going to have to spend time manipulating the road to exactly how you want it. If you want it to be something you can come in and add to the, uh, add to your game and you're not so concerned about the terrain, then just take the default settings and let it construct the terrain around the road. If like me, you want the road to be more realistic, um, then you're going to have to invest more time in trying to find these kind of workarounds, these levers, these hybrid mechanisms. Uh, I mean, what I could do, for example, um, if I wanted to go back to being really hyper accurate, I can come back in and start editing the terrain around the road to make the road, to make the, um, road work. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's tricky. It's not necessarily easy. As I say, it depends on your context. Um, anyway, uh, I hope some of that's been of use. And if I find out any more details, I'll come back to you. Okay, thanks.